Fear not, for God is in control. These words echo through the pages of Scripture, a resounding command that pierces the darkness of doubt and anxiety. While the words fear not may not appear exactly 365 times in the Bible, the essence of this message resounds daily, one for each day of our lives. The message is clear, fear not. It's not a minor theme, but a resounding anthem that reverberates from Genesis to Revelation. Think about it. Abraham, chosen by God, heard these words. Israel, as they embarked on their epic journey, was commanded not to fear. Moses, called to lead a nation, received this assurance. Even David, in the depths of his trials, clung to this promise before he became a king. Fear not, Daniel, when facing the lion's den. Fear not, Jerusalem, for the angel Gabriel proclaimed it. From Paul, enduring a harrowing 14-day storm at sea, to John, exiled on the Isle of Patmos, the message persists. Fear not, for I am with you. These words, these powerful words, pierce through the storm of our anxieties and fears. Through every trial, every challenge, and every uncertainty, God's message to us remains constant. Fear not, for I am in control. This truth is a lifeline for our souls, a beacon of hope in the darkest of nights. But remember, it's not about the absence of fear. It's about not allowing fear to paralyze us. Life's challenges may seem overwhelming, but we are not alone. God, the creator of the universe, the one who loves us beyond measure, stands with us. Fear is a thief that seeks to steal our dreams, our purpose, our destiny. Satan wants us to live in the shadows of fear, to shrink back from life's challenges, rendering us ineffective. But God, oh God, calls us to be brave and bold. In Timothy, we're reminded that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Fear is not from God. It's a tool the enemy wields to halt our progress. It whispers lies, magnifying our doubts and insecurities. Yet in Isaiah 41, 10, God's voice rings clear, Fear not, for I am with you. There's nothing to fear when the Almighty is by our side. We may not know what lies ahead, but we trust in His presence. We mustn't fixate on our problems. Instead, look up to the one who guides us. Every trial, every difficulty strengthens us. Fear may knock at our door, but we send faith to answer and it vanishes. Fear may be a fact of life, but it cannot define us. We declare, I will not fear. Fear robs us of forward progress, but we refuse to let it control our destiny. God orchestrates events and circumstances, preparing us for the remarkable plans he has in store. The enemy uses fear to keep us from experiencing the fullness of God's blessings. So stand firm, my friend. Do not be afraid. Trust that your heavenly Father, who loves you dearly, has gone before you. Fear may try to cripple you, but remember, you've been set up to hit a home run every time. When fear seeks to cripple you, remember this. God is for you. Your problems do not indicate his indifference. He cares and he's there to help you. Fear gives the enemy access to your life, but faith opens the door to God's intervention. You don't have to fear the future, for God will take care of you. Whatever lies ahead, known or unknown, God's got your back. He has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So engrave it in your heart. Fear not, for God is in control. You are not alone in this journey. Embrace your divine calling, for God will take care of you. Stand tall, be fearless, and let your faith propel you forward. Remember, God's got you always. May these words empower you to live boldly, love deeply, and shine brightly as a community of believers who trust in the Almighty God who whispers to our hearts, Fear not, for I am with you always. God bless you. If you're eager to explore the Word of God, subscribe now and join our Bible journey.